Hi, my name is Dave Whiteley. I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited, and I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to run through an example of a thermal stress analysis simulation within Autodesk Nastran INCAD 2015. Nastran INCAD runs embedded within Inventor and uh, gives you industry recognised uh, solver that's proven and credible, accurate, advanced, and scalable. It comes with a number of basic analysis capabilities from linear static stress all the way to thermal stress analysis. I'm going to run a thermal stress analysis simulation in a minute. And also a number of advanced analysis capabilities, uh, non-linear analyses, as you can see here. The demonstration I'm going to run through is a thermal stress analysis of a pipe hanger. This is going to have applied temperature to it due to the, um, the load from the, uh, the the temperature load from the pipe, which also has a weight which will be applied to the bracket. Uh, the thermal analysis will convect out to ambient temperature. It's an assembly of two uh, alloys which will uh, assemble and analyze um, accordingly. So within Inventor, I've got a simple uh, assembly of a, have my hanger bracket. And we'll just uh, go to our Autodesk Nastran. This uh, runs within Inventor and gives you uh, a Nastran browser on the left-hand side where we'd normally see the model browser. And we've got the ribbon along the top that's uh, got the Nastran tools on it. We'll uh, edit the analysis. This analysis is going to be the stress and uh, the thermal analysis. And uh, We'll choose the type of analysis accordingly. We've got linear and non-linear uh, uh, heat transfer analysis here. I'm going to do a linear steady state heat transfer analysis. We can give it a title here as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add some materials. So uh, we can add the materials from either the uh, ribbon or from the browser by right clicking on the browser. Let's go up to uh, the ribbon. Now we can either add a material from a database supplied from uh, the Nastran tool or we can import the material from the inventor model itself. Um, in this case, we'll just go to um, import from model. This will actually import the, the, the materials that uh, I've used um, to define this assembly. So I've got my stainless steel, my alloy steel, and obviously uh, the, the generic that we get from the templates if we uh, don't change them. So let's have a look at the stainless steel. Um, we'll edit this and apply the properties um, for my material because I've taken uh, the standard ones from Inventor. I may want to change these. The thermal properties are important because this is a thermal analysis. All units are in SI units by default if you set units to meters within uh, the document settings of the model. In fact, let's go and check that now. Yep, units of meters. So this means that uh, everything is in SI units, temperature is in Kelvin, as an example. If we hover over these, it will actually say what they are. So this is the reference uh, temperature in Kelvin the structural properties okay we go to the alloy steel now in this case what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, Instead of using the alloy steel that came from the model, I'll delete that and actually go to new and choose to uh, load from the material supplied um, by um, Nastran. And I can choose uh, an alloy steel here, or if I want to, 
I can go to CAD and choose from the Inventor uh, or the Autodesk material library and choose the materials this way. So you've got a number of uh, decisions to make when it comes to the materials. So let's apply the materials to the alloy steel, uh, the, the properties to the alloy steel. Okay, that's the materials added. Now what we need to do is um, apply these to physical properties of the model. So if we uh, right click on physical, physical properties new, in here we can, we've got the um, material that we're going to choose, i.e. stainless steel, and we're going to associate it with the bracket, or the yellow part of the bracket here. Then we're going to uh, choose the uh, alloy steel, and we're going to associate it to the top here. So there's a physical properties added. Then we're going to add some surface contact. This is welded in this case. We'll select the regions that we want to uh, weld together. By clicking on the button at the bottom here, it's like it's like apply. It applies the uh, the um, surface contact in this case and uh, brings you keeps the dialog box up on the screen. Okay, so there's the surface contact finished. Now we're going to add our uh, temperature load. So we just right click on loads here, new. Uh, this is going to be an applied temperature. Uh, this is in Kelvin. And we're going to apply it to the bottom of the bracket here. Uh, we can right click and remove uh, the um, display of the uh, loads later on. We can hide these should we wish. Okay, we've also got convection to add to this, so we'll just add um, convection, again new, in this case uh, convection, the ambient temperature, the convection coefficient, and we'll select the entities that uh, are going to convect, i.e. the faces. Okay, that'll do. Okay, on that. And again, we'll hide all just to make things a bit easier on the screen. Okay, so let's mesh the model. Give it a mesh size, we we'll use parabolic meshing and we'll go ahead and mesh the model. And then we're ready to run the analysis, so we'll solve this in Nastran. Okay, that's complete. And let's have a look at the uh, display of the uh, thermal gradient. So uh, maximum 1062 Kelvin down to 308 Kelvin, about 64 degrees C. So that's uh, the sort of thing I'm looking for in this, uh, this uh, hanger bracket. 
Um, so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and uh, run through um, the stress analysis on this. So all we need to do is copy uh, the thermal analysis and paste that in as a new analysis. Okay, let's edit this. So this is going to be the stress analysis. It's going to be linear static. It'll take off any thermal loads. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, apply our um, loads. One of these will be a th the thermal load from the previous analysis, um, the temperature gradient that we get from the previous analysis. So we just go to new here, from output, choose the previous um, uh, the previous. Uh, Results Okay Open these up Then we'll apply our force To the total force. And our constraint. So we'll just add a fixed constraint to the top here. And we'll run this one. So we'll have a look at the uh, results. Let's just turn off the display of the loads and the constraints. And as you can see, uh, we've got a total um, deflection here, a displacement of the bottom of the pipe hanger of 1.73 millimeters. Be careful, this is in meters, this display. And uh, let's also have a look at the um, stresses in this as well. This is in Pascals, and if we want to as well, we can apply a number of uh, other results to this. We've got a list, a huge list of results that we can apply from the Nastran analysis. Uh, let's go to solid status here, and this will show us the um, safety factor. Um, minimum of 0.16, so we need to do something about the materials or the number of hanger brackets to reduce the load. Um, uh, there's two things here really, we've got the, um, the, the stresses due to the load on the uh, component but also of course because of the uh, thermal analysis we've done we've applied um, uh, a thermal gradient to the bracket and we've also got um, a deformation as well so we need to be careful of um, the, the, the actual hanger bracket deforming as well. Um, this may get into um, uh, a certain amount, this may get, get past yield and um, cause us problems in the future. The, uh, if we've got a cyclic loading, then uh, the, the software allows us to run fatigue analysis as well. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, new software uh, from well-proven uh, Nastran uh, solver running inside of Inventor. The first time we have thermal analysis with an Inventor. Uh, this has been Nastran Incad. My name is Dave Whiteley, Technical Director in Visage. You can contact me at this uh, contact address or uh, from our YouTube channel, Envisage UK LTD. Thank you very much.